friends, welcome to your yoga class for inner power and rejuvenation. So this is going to be a fiery 45 minute practice where we're going to really stimulate the body. We're going to work really hard, build up that heat in the body while at the same time practice on finding stillness and presence in your mind. We're going to work hard. This is going to be a slightly fast paced practice. So just stay within your body, stay present. You won't need any sort of props, just yourself and your mat. So if you're ready, let's get to it. friends. So we're going to start today easy and gentle on our mats at the back of your mat. We're going to go ahead and come into a seated position right over top of your heels. So sit up, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. And as we begin our practice today, let's just give ourselves the opportunity to find that presence and stillness. So hands onto your lap or perhaps over to your heart. Close your eyes and just begin to breathe deeply. Inhaling into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. And then exhaling out. And again, deep breath in. Exhale out. With your eyes closed, just checking in with yourself, checking in with your body. How are you feeling right now in this moment? With your exhalation, I'd like you to let go of everything that is not serving you in this moment. Any thoughts, worries of the future, of the past, about other people, I'd like you to completely leave that at the door and enter the sanctuary that you've created here on your mat for yourself. Enter your own presence, your own internal stillness as we move and breathe. On your next inhalation, reach both arms up towards the sky as you lengthen up. And then as you exhale, I'd like you to shift your weight over to your left butt cheeks. So you're gonna come off your heels and then just plant your right hand down and reach with your left fingertips towards the right side of the mat. Just be very mindful that you're not rounding forward. I want you to really open up through the chest and the shoulders and perhaps even look up towards that left elbow. Beautiful. One more inhale. Keep reaching with the right fingertips away so you're really lengthening through the left side. Exhale, come back to center. We're going to start with a fire breath, a breathing pranayama practice that allows to build up eternal heat in the body. So what you're going to do is just sit up nice and tall, inhale into the nose and exhale rapidly out of your nose to my count. All right, so inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, breathe normally. Inhale and exhale. Inhale again, both arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, shift your weight over to your right butt cheek now, so off the heels. Left hand down as your right arm reaches up and over towards the left side. So now we're lengthening through the right side of your body, breathing deeply into the right side of your body. Good, just breathe. Opening through the rib cage. Your oblique muscles are stretching. Yeah, just finding that breath. You can keep your eyes closed here if that feels good. And then as you exhale, come back to center. Shift yourself back to that central position and let's do one more 
breathing exercise. So again, fire breath, Kapalabhati breathing. Inhaling deeply into your nose. Exhale rapidly out of your nose as you contract the abdominal muscles into your body. All right, so let's do it together. Inhale. Exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe normally. Wonderful. Just find that center on your next breath. Inhaling lots of oxygen into the body as the arms reach up. Exhale, round forward into that child's pose, reaching the fingertips to the front of your mat. Feeling that beautiful stretch through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, round nice and slow. Good, coming over into your all fours position. Good, let's warm up the spinal cord by inhaling, just arching the back, look up, drop the belly, and then exhale round and tuck the chin to the chest. Just a few moments of cat-cow before we go deeper into our fire building practice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look up, and exhale, release. Inhale, return yourself back into neutral spine position. Right leg extends away from you. Let's square the hips out. Let's start to ignite that power of your core. So pull the navel into the spine, engage your abdominals, and then see if you can reach your left arm forward. Another variation is to simply grab the right elbow with your left hand. So see what feels better for you as we hold this bird dog, really starting to engage every muscle in the body. We're going to do a next exercise with an exhalation. You're going to exhale two times out of your nose or mouth, whatever's comfortable, as you crunch twice, touching elbow to knee. So inhale, exhale, we crunch, one, two. Inhale, we extend, exhale, crunch, one, two. Inhale, reach, exhale, one, two. Inhale, reach, exhale, one, two. Reach, one, two, reach. One, two, reach, one, two, two more times, last time, extend and hold, find that power, that center, left hand comes down, just give me four push-ups, bring it down, chaturanga push-ups with the elbows close to your body, bring it down, that's two, that's three, and four, flex your back foot, drop your back toes. Now pull that left knee to your chest as you bring it up for four and down. Three and two. So again, engaging that core, hold it here. Three, two, one. Step your left foot back, plank position, navel to the spine, Chaturanga Dandasana. Release the toes as we open. Arch and release the heart up to the sky. Upward dog. And then as we exhale, bend your knees, push back, child's pose. Good, round out through the spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we come back into all fours position. Let's take it to the other side. So now left leg extends. Once again, my friends, pull that navel into the spine, nice and strong. Right hand to your left elbow or perhaps reaching forward. Before we do anything else, we're finding that stillness, that stability, that strength from within. Holding this position, breathing deeply. And let's take that double crunch. Inhale, exhale, crunch it in. One, two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one, two. Reach, exhale, one, two. Keep it going. Exhale, one, two. Reach, one, two. Reach, one, two. Reach, one, two. You got it. Three more. One, two reach one two last one remember to exhale hold that position again drop your right hand down give me four push-ups 
four and breathe. Three, two, one. Flex your back toes. Toes onto the mat. Lift that right knee to the chest for four and lower. Three and lower. Two, one more. Hold it here. Again, pull that navel into the spine. Pull, 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 pull. Step your right foot back. Plank position. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Let's stretch it out. This time, exhale, push into the hands, lift the hips. Let's take our downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. All right, this is our very first downward dog. So let's gift our body a moment of rejuvenation, of release. So I'd like you to, to add whatever movement feels good on your body today. So perhaps it feels really nice to just walk it out on the spot. Perhaps it feels really good to do some shoulder rolls or maybe hip rolls. Feel free to be creative. There is no wrong here. What we're doing here is tuning into our own body and truly asking ourselves, what do I need in this moment? What will make me feel good in this position? And then once you're able to answer that, gift yourself that moment of rejuvenation. So move whichever way feels right for you right now in this moment. Good. So just breathe it out and notice with a little bit of patience and a little bit of time, your body responds to this posture. Your body relaxes into this downward dog, allows your heels to gently release closer towards the mat. Again, it's not about touching your heels to the mat. So don't worry if your heels are off the floor the whole time. That's not the point of this position. If your hamstrings are feeling too tight, slightly bend your knees. All right, so gift yourself whatever modification you need so that you can truly enjoy this asana. Yeah, let's take another deep breath in. Exhale now, we're gonna build up a little heat. Stay with me, we're gonna round vertebra by vertebra, coming over into a high plank position. Shoulder tap, so touch your right fingertips to the left shoulder, right shoulder, then right knee to left elbow, back, left knee, right elbow, back, and let's repeat. Shoulder, shoulder, a little faster now. Knee, and knee, again, shoulder, shoulder, knee, and if you want to pick up the pace, you can, or stick it with me. Knee, knee, shoulder, shoulder, breathe, knee. So working our core, working our upper body here, building up heat in the body, stoking that fire within, boosting and stimulating the metabolism. So much is going on here in and out of our bodies. Keep it going. Touch and touch, elbow, elbow, touch, touch, elbow, elbow. Last two, elbow, elbow. Then we're going to separate the two exercises and do a full set of each. So go into shoulder taps, tap and tap, tap, tap. You got it, tap, tap, tap. Give me 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me Chaturanga Dandasana to the mat, upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog, we got knees to elbows now, inhale, exhale back into plank, right knee, left elbow, back to plank, other side, let's keep it going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got 10 more, stay with me, 10. It's not called a fire class for no reason. We're building up that fire. You got it. Last four, three, two, one. Chaturanga, upper dog, breathe it out. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Well done, my friends. Take a second for yourself, catch your breath. Inhale, 
lift the heels, bend the knees, exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, let's just come on up halfway, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, you release the body. Warming up the hamstrings as we walk our knees out on one spot. And this should feel really good on your neck. Allow your neck to be super heavy here and almost feeling that decompression happening in your cervical spine and your neck. Really nice if you've been sitting all day, maybe working at your desk, maybe taking care of your children and standing and sitting in awkward positions as I know as a new mom sometimes happens when you have kids. So just let this feel good on your body. All right. Awesome. From here, bend your knees and let's slowly roll up for three. For two. One. Opening your body. Just taking a second here. Find your breath and truly visualize your breath moving in a beautiful vertical line through the bottom, the root of your spine, all the way up to the crown of your head. And then guide that breath down from the crown of your head all the way to the root of your spine and all the way down to your heels. Just taking a second here to check in with yourself, to check in with your own heart, with your own breath, your own being. coming back to that intention of what brought you here on your mat today. Finding that presence in the sanctuary that you've created for yourself on your mat in this moment. Slowly drop the shoulders away from the ears and open up your eyes as we move into our Surya, Numas Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, you're gonna bend your knees Reach both arms up to the sky, Utkatasana chair. Exhale, dive your body forward, fold to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, let's step back first into plank position, taking your Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog as you open up your heart. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps to the, to the front of your mat as your left heel grounds, opening into your Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Find that balance, that strength in the lower body. Palms together, exhale, dive the hands down, pivot the back foot, release and just extend your right leg back, let it hover, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel grounds. Inhale, reach both arms up, Virabhadrasana one. See if you can go a little bit lower with your hips without of course losing your alignment here. Palms together, reach and release down, pivot the back heel, step back, plank position, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Give me three breaths here. Deep inhale and exhale as you allow your body to go further, to go deeper. Find that presence with your breath. Find that stillness of the mind, watching your thoughts come in and out of your mind. As you find that beautiful awareness of your body and mind in this moment. Inhale, lift, lift the heels off the mat, bend your knees. Look to the front of your mat, hop forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, come on up to Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastiti with your hands at your heart. We're going to do that again a little bit faster. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step, or maybe this time jump right into Chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps, top of the mat, left heel grounds, both arms reach up. 
Stay in this Virabhadrasana one as the arms come behind you, interlace your fingers. Extending through the elbows, open up that heart. And then as you exhale, dive yourself down with your right shoulder to that right knee. Hold this position. Breathe. Inhale, slowly come on up, open that heart. Exhale, dive it down. Just stay with me two more times like this with the breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Releasing the hands, hands next to the front foot. Pivot the back heel as you open and reach your right arm up to the sky into your twisted high lunge really feeling this nice stretch through your glute here beautiful from this position shift all of your weight to that left hand and then take your right foot and just bring it right up towards your left knee as you open into a side plank variation extend your right leg holding your side plank breathing for five four feel that engagement in the core three two one right hand comes down chaturanga upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog let's take it to the other side same thing left foot steps forward to the top of your mat ground and lift that right heel release it to the mat as your arms reach up Virabhadrasana one, holding the strong, powerful warrior one. Hands behind your back, interlacing the fingers, extending through the elbows. Let's release the body, left shoulder, left knee. And we're just gonna follow the movement of your breath with your body here. Finding that deeper connection of the body and breath as we inhale, open, lift up. Exhale, dive all the way as far as you can. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Beautiful, one more time, inhale. And exhale, hold it here. See how low you can get with that body. Release the hands, hands along the front foot, lift the heel. Pivot the back heel as you reach your left arm up to the sky into your twisted high lunge. Creating that beautiful line of your arms from the wrist to the fingers. And then shift your weight onto that right hand. You're gonna lift this left foot off the mat and just bring the foot to the inside of your right knee. And then slide this foot down, holding your side plank. Pulling the navel into the spine, engaging the obliques. Four, three, two, one. Left hand comes down, chaturanga. Upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's hold it here, three breaths. Breathing in as much oxygen as you can as you allow yourself to enjoy and go deeper into this posture. Really roll those elbows downward to face towards the mat, opening through the upper back. Beautiful, lift the heels, bend the knees, look to the front of your mat, hop forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, coming over into Utkatasana. Exhale, palms together, come on up into your Samastiti. Beautiful work. Let's keep it moving. Inhale, back into Utkatasana. Exhale, lower it down, forward fold. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or hop right into your Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, holding this three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack your hips so you're opening it up. And then if you're comfortable, go ahead and release into your wild thing or 
flipped dog. So you're going to release the right toes down. And then reach and open through that heart center, reaching your right fingertips towards the front of your mat. And then from here, we're just going to drop and dip the hips down as your arm reaches towards the back of your mat. Exhale, lift up for one. We bring it down. Exhale, up for two. Follow your breath. And three. And four. Keep it going. Lift as high as you can with those hips, engaging your glutes. Lift. Release. And lift. Breathe it out one last time. Holding that flip dog. Shift your weight back, right hand back onto the mat. Keep your knee bent. From here, we're just gonna bring that right knee towards the chest and tap left elbow and then right. So we go left, right, left, right. Keep it going with me. Four, five, breathe it out. Six, work that core. Seven, eight, great job. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, right leg steps to the front of your mat. Find your center. This time, let's reach both arms up into our crescent high lunge. Good. Just finding that strength, that power in the lower body. Beautiful. And then from here, let's shift ourselves forward right onto that right foot as your left leg reaches up into your uh, warrior three. Virabhadrasana three. You can keep your hands at your heart if that feels better. Slowly from here, lift your body up. Arms reach up as the left knee comes up to the belly button. Flex your foot, exhale, place the ankle top of your right knee as you lower into your standing pigeon. Hands can be at your heart. Maybe you want a little more support in the balance. Hands can come down onto the mat. And just find that breath, find that center, really feeling this nice release in the glute. Slowly come back up, reaching your left knee up. Let's just pump that knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands behind your back. Now take your reversed prayer position. So placing the palms of your hands together, thumbs interlaced, and then step your left foot back. Inhale, extending the front knee. And then exhale, begin to release with your reversed Anjali Mudra. If the reversed prayer is too much for you, just grab the opposite elbows, okay? And so from here, we're holding this pyramid pose. First, extending through the spine and then allowing your body to fold at the hips. Finding that balance, that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Just make sure you're lengthening through the spine here. And then slowly come on up, bending the front knee. Lift yourself up. Release the hands. Inhale, arms reach up as you shift your weight back onto that right foot. Flex your left foot and just kick the leg out. Push it, push it, push it, push. And then drop the foot. Beautiful work, you guys. Inhale, just open up the chest. Exhale. Let's dive it down into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or maybe hop right into that Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back. Release into your downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg reaches up. Hold, bend your knee, and then see if you want to stack your hips here. That feels good on your body. And then from the stack position, go ahead and release into your flip dog, your wild thing, as some people call. So you're going to release the toes. You're going to reach that left arm towards the front of your mat. 
And then from here, drop your hips, lower the arms, so you're reaching towards the back of your mat, and then you lift the hips and push up for one. Bring it down, exhale, two. Bring it down, three, four, you got it, four more. Lift five, six, seven, one more time. Lift it up, hold, shift your way back, back into that three-legged dog, bending your left knee. This time you're gonna bring that knee right over towards that right elbow, left elbow. Let's take it two, three, four, breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, one more. Awesome, reach that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step front of your mat. Just take a second, find your breath. I hope you're already feeling that fire and that sweat coming through. Reach both arms up to the sky. Find that center of your body. Just get deep in that body, really finding that strength, that base of the lower body, working to keep you strong and tall in this high lunge position. Deep breath in. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Good. Bringing your right knee up and then push it back into your warrior three. Right leg is aligned with the body. Hands can stay at your heart. Breathe it in. Beautiful. Exhale, bring it up. Arms reach up. Let's just pump that knee for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, feel the core engaging, nine, ten, right ankle top of your left knee coming down into your standing pigeon. And once again, hands can stay at your heart or they can stay on the mat, whatever feels good here. Breathing deeply. Great job, slowly from here. Come on up again. And this time step your right foot back and then take your hands behind your back and place the pinkies together and then the palms of your hands together and then interlace your thumbs. So it's called your reversed Anjali Mudra or reversed prayer. Extending through the front knee, let's open through the chest. And then as you exhale, begin to dive with your heart first. And what I mean by that is that you're allowing your chest to guide you down, which will allow your back to stay straight. And depending on where your hamstrings will allow you to go today, maybe this is as far as you feel comfortable, maybe you wanna go all the way down. So wherever you are, remember, is exactly where you need to be. Don't force it, just feel it. So feel into the posture and feel how your body is responding to it. Listen to your body. Do not allow the ego to guide your practice. Silence the ego and awaken the heart. Allow the heart to be the guiding force here, allowing you to find that patience and acceptance with yourself and your practice. This is a beautiful way for us to practice that deeper connection with our own intuition, our own inner being. This connection that is so important in helping us maneuver our, our way through life. Finding more ways to silence the ego and to live from the heart. Slowly come on up by bending the front knee so we're protecting the knee here. Lift yourself up, release your hands, arms reach up, and then exhale, just bring that right knee forward, palms at your heart, flex your right foot, push it away, push it away, push, 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 and release the foot down, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, exhale, dive it down, inhale, halfway, exhale, step or hop right into your 
Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Good. Opening through the body. Lifting the heels, bending your knees, hop towards your malasana, your yogic squat, by planting your feet on the mat. Watch how my toes actually come off the mat. So you want to give yourself enough space. You don't want to have your feet too close together, but also not too far apart. Get palms of your hands together again in Anjali Mudra. Drop the shoulders away. Use your own elbows and help yourself go deeper here. So use the strength and push those knees away as you allow the tailbone to point downward towards the ground. Open up through that chest. And let's breathe a little bit of movement here. Left hand comes down as your right arm reaches up. Inhale, exhale, switch. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. And again, just switch. Moving your weight from one side to the next. Switch. Good. Bring it back down to center. Palms of your hands together. And let's use that strength of our lower body as we press up. Inhale. Open the heart. Open the arms. Exhale. Right down into that yogic squat for one. Inhale. Exhale. For two. Really get deep into that squat. And three, build that fire from within. Open, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Give me two more. And open, exhale. Last one. Woo. <laughs> Coming back into that yogic squat. Good, really open up through that chest, elongate the spine. Breathe it out. Hands come onto the mat. Lift your hips. Heel toe your feet so they're a little closer together. And let's get into our crow position today. So palms of your hands flat. Lift the heels. Bend your knees. Plant your knees right at the top of your triceps. So right where that shoulder meets and then bring your weight forward. Now practice by lifting one foot off the mat and then the other and then just holding this crow breathe deeply beautiful to come out of this posture either step back or hop right into your chaturanga so if you're stepping back you're just going step step and let's take that chaturanga upward dog open up exhale downward facing dog beautiful work you guys Inhale, exhale, well done, again, inhale, exhale, slowly lift the heels, bend your knees, and come on over to your knees, we're just going to sit up nice and tall, so watch how my toes are tucked under. What you're going to do here is simply palms of your hands together. You're going to lift your knees off the mat, so finding that balance. And then exhale, bring them up for one. So we bring it up and two. Bring it up. So it's a little bit of a core exercise and balance, <laughs> as you'll notice. It's that strength that you need to lift the knees off the mat and then catch your balance in that second and then reach. Bring it up and then reach two more now last one I want you to hold it just find that balance balancing on your tippy toes navel to the spine core is strong drop down to the knees arms reach up release the back toes exhale camel hands onto your sacrum as you open an arch or perhaps you go right deep into the camel by grabbing those heels with your fingers drop your head back stretch it out breathe here really finding this deep opening in your heart releasing any tension you might be feeling in your heart good 
to come out, your hands come back onto your sacrum. Just find that length first, then sit back over into your heels. Give yourself a second to allow the spine to neutralize. And then as you exhale, release into child's pose, rounding out your back in the opposite direction, your counter pose. And let's close our eyes in this moment and just focus on that deep inhalation and exhalation. In that last posture, as you opened up your heart, ask yourself, what is it that you're closing yourself off from in your life? What is it that you wish you could be more open to? Is it adventure? Is it sponta spontaneity? Is it new relationships? Is it new habits? Remind yourself that everything that you want simply lies on the other side of fear. And that by opening ourselves into the unknown, to the universe, opening our heart to it, we allow ourselves to welcome love, which will guide us forward, which is stronger than fear, which is more powerful than fear. And if we continue to follow our path through love, through our hearts, it'll guide us exactly where we need to be. Let's take another deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come on up. Tuck your toes. Let's just take a downward facing dog. Stretch it out. And then slowly walk your feet to the front of your mat. You're going to bend your knees and we're going to slowly make our way to our final, everyone's favorite, <laughs> Shavasana. So come on down. Pull your knees into the chest first. And then let's make a little ball by tucking that chin in and just squeeze, 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 squeeze your body into a little tiny shape. And then exhale, open up and let go. Relax. Release the legs and your arms, the palms of your hands facing upward. Just focus on the breath. With each exhalation, allow yourself to let go and relax. Relaxing your face. Allowing the eyes to feel heavy. Relaxing your jaw. Allow your shoulders to release, your arms to feel heavy. Letting go of your glutes, your thighs, your calves. You've done such a beautiful job working your body today engaging, toning, strengthening so many different muscle groups. And in this moment right now, this is your time to gift yourself relaxation, release, and rejuvenation. So let all that hard work soak in. With your exhalation, let go of all that no longer serves you. Let go of that fear. With your deep inhalation, welcome love. Welcome that higher vibration into your being. Allowing this energy of light to enter every cell of your body and heal you in every way that you need healing in this moment. Just simply surrender to it. Let go. Open your mind, and open your heart to 
this beautiful energy that you're surrounded by now. Inhale. And exhale. You are more than welcome to stay in this position for as long as you need to. If you feel like your body needs a longer rest, more time to just be and stay here. However, if you do need to get going and continue onward with your day, then simply just bring your awareness to your fingertips and toes first as you start to move them. And then deepen your breath. And then bring your knees towards your body as you reach your right arm up over your head and roll over to your fetal position on your right side. And then from here, push yourself up and come over to your seated position on your mat. Just finding your breath, finding that balance, that stillness from within. Noticing what this fiery practice has awakened within you. Feel that power, that strength that lives within you and allow this energy to guide your day forward. Allow you to feel confident, secure, and radiant in everything that you do. Whenever you're ready, slowly bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. And take this opportunity to bow down to your own heart and send yourself gratitude. Thank yourself for this beautiful, powerful practice that you did. Thank yourself for finding time in your day and dedicating it to your health and to your well being. Thank you so much for joining me here today at the beautiful Blue Spirit Retreat Center in Costa Rica. I send you all my love and all my light. Namaste. As you're rolling up your mat right now, I just wanted to say a huge heartfelt thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to dive deeper into your yoga or fitness journey, I would love it if you would check out Boho Beautiful Official. It is our exclusive streaming app platform. Right here, you can check it all out. It's got tons of full length classes, yoga calendars, workout calendars, and so much more. And before you go, the one thing I would love for you to do, if maybe joining the app isn't something you want to do today, is click that subscribe button. Because if you click that subscribe button, it'll help our content continue to rise to the top and give us the opportunity to continue to bring free yoga to the world. Thank you so much again for joining me here today at Beautiful Blue Spirit. I send you all my love. We'll see you soon.